Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer, for those of you that don't know me already, and I am going to be chatting about women's health. Um, this is a real passion of mine, obviously as a woman myself, um, but also um, for uh, all, of, all of those around me. Um, I think I want to start this by explaining that um, unfortunately a lot of women around me um, have had a lot of um, difficulties associated with their, um, their hormone levels and menstruation and that sort of thing. And you always, I always kind of felt powerless in, in trying to help them with that. I myself didn't feel like I really had any um, issues associated with um, hormones or, or anything. I felt really lucky. I didn't um, have like the cramping a lot of people had or the moodiness really, maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I found... Um, I, f I have found the essential oils to be a super helpful tool in, the, in this regard, and so I just really wanted to share that uh, with you and the different protocols and different ideas of ways you can incorporate the oils into your life or suggest them to others who are having issues with um, hormone imbalance and uh, women's health issues, um, and it could just, it could just help, help them with, with those. So, okay. So uh, it was probably a couple of years ago that I listened to this webinar um, by um, the wonderful Don Bean um, about women's health and hormone balance and balancing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I was listening for um, a friend who had really, really painful cramping during her, her period. Um, and then she'd also get, um, like, she, she was basically incapacitated. She'd have to be she was out of commission for a few days and she tried pretty heavy medication and drugs to be able to um, basically function um, and that's like laying in bed functioning and not like getting up and being able to do the different things that she wanted to do um, during the day. So I was interested in, in hearing more and learning more about that, um, that subject. But the interesting thing was, and it was an amazing webinar, the interesting thing was as I was listening, I realized that some of the things that I had been experiencing um, over the previous couple, previous few years, I guess, um, were actually a sign of, of hormone imbalance. And, and so I thought um, there's actually probably a lot more women out there that maybe don't realize that some of the things that they're experiencing, they might think it's just... Um, inevitable as you're getting older, um, but it's actually a, a form of, of hormone imbalance and you can actually you can actually fix it and feel better. So that's one of the reasons that I, this is a big passion for myself. So yeah, and I, I found that it's it's been super helpful for me. So I'm excited to share some things with you. Um, I think unfortunately as well, one of the things that is really uh, difficult for um, for women in, in our society anyways, is that youth is, is something that's really celebrated. Um, and there's um, a lot of suffering as women age um, in, a, in our society. And um, interestingly enough, in um, cultures where um, elder women are, are venerated and celebrated, they don't actually have the same issues of menopause um, that, that we do here in the West. So. Um, I thought that was something that's interesting. So it's also a societal thing and a, a perception that we need to um, help fix that way. So um, and, and one, so one of the things is, is just recognizing that those that there is that pressure out there as well, and uh, it's causing us unnecessary stress. And so we need to help each other through it. Be kind and help each other women, but also be kind to yourself as well. Um, so I'll just jump right into um, the dynamic duo that is progesterone and estrogen. Um, so progesterone, you can, um, it's basically like a natural antidepressant. Um, it helps with metabolism, so it helps um, exchange the fat for, for energy. It helps regulate blood glucose, uh, it helps with sex drive and libido, and also helps with breast and uterine lining health. Uh, estrogen is responsible for femininity. Um, uh, bone health, puberty, and neuroprotection for brain function. So both have very important roles in our, in our body. 
So some of the, um, the issues that might start coming up with estrogen deficiency, and this is where um, you might be like, oh, like that, I have that, or my friend has that, um, and I didn't realize that that could be um, a, a, a hormone imbalance issue. So, so listen, um, PMS is maybe more of an uh, obvious one, the postmenstrual, um, premenstrual sy syndrome. Um, and if you ask my husband, I probably get that sometimes. <laughs> um, anxiety, hot flashes, um, palpitations, uh, heart palpitations, uh, fertility issues, low libido, painful intercourse, uh, insomnia, painful breast tissues, weight gain and bloating, water retention and brain fog um, are all um, possible signs of an estrogen deficiency. Um, and one of the things that you can use to help with that is the, the blend called Clericom. I've got that here. And I don't know if you um, are a woman, I don't know, like 13, maybe even younger, uh, up to dead. This is something that could probably help you and your friends. This is something I wish I'd had at high school, in high school, and be able to give this to my um, my friends and family members and just all the women around me. It really does help balance um, balance everything out. And when you get this this bottle as well, it is pure oil, so you can dilute it. Uh, generally, um, I will make maybe two or three bottles out of this and fill up the rest with fractionated coconut oil. And diluting it just helps um, reduce the possible um, sensitive skin uh, sensitivity reaction that you might get um, with it. And it also helps it last longer because um, that's all really you need. Um, what, what I did the first time is I, I bought this and I made it into um, rollers for my um, sisters and, and mom and some of my girlfriends as well. So there, that's a way you could share it with other women in your life as well. Um, and what you, how you use it is just every, every morning and every evening, um, just do a swipe below your belly button. So it's so kind of a, around your uterine, uh, uterus area. Um, and it's, it's just, it works really well. If you don't enjoy the smell, if you find it too strong, you could also put it on your, on your big toe as well, or, um, in your, uh, inner ankle in that area there. Um, and it'll get to where it needs to go. I put it by my toothbrush, so I remember to put it on every every morning and, and evening when I brush my teeth. So I highly, highly recommend that. If you experience any of those things, PMS, anxiety, hot flashes, heart palpitations, fertility issues, low libido, painful intercourse, insomnia, painful breast tissues, weight gain, bloating, and bloating uh, water retention, and brain fog, this is something that can help. Brain fog was one of the, um, the issues that I was, I was having. <laughs> I just thought it was like a um, mama brain and that, that's just the way life was going to be from, from then on. But yeah, this, this has helped a lot with that. Um, some potential issues for excess estrogen uh, would be migraines, insomnia, rosacea, and, and uh, rosacea. And I was finding I was having a bit more difficulty sleeping as well. So I was, I was going through a weird um, cycle throughout the month. Um, and I've actually been able to help some friends that have had pretty severe migraines associated with their period with this Clericom as well. Um, and also, so I can I say, so this is, as I was saying, this is a daily thing. This can help with, um, if you're using it daily, it can help reduce uh, cramping. It can help produce, uh, reduce the PMS. It can just help with everything. Yes, I so, so recommend um, every woman to have this and get it, get it for your loved the loved women in your life as well. Um, so let's just talk about some of the reasons that you might have an imbalance in the in estrogen and these hormones. Diet can impact the amount of estrogen you have. Um, so you can get it in different types of food. I don't know if you've heard before that yams have a lot of estrogen in them. Um, you can also unfortunately get them it through environmental exposure and this is generally what we call xenoestrogens. Um, Found, they're found in a lot of plastics um, and in the body it's competing with estrogen by inhibiting natural estrogen from functioning proper, properly. Um, uh, an alternative to this and that can actually help get rid of the xenoestrogens is something called the uh, phytoestrogens and those are, um, come from plants and they can be supportive in helping the body, as I said before, release the xenoestrogens. 
Um, and doTERRA actually has a, an amazing supplement called, um, oh, my brain, my brain fog. I need to put some more of this on. Um, oh, you guys. I, I will get it. And you can actually, um, you can actually get, oh, it, it is, it is phyto, it's phytoestrogen as well, but you can actually get a, um, a, a special combo pack that has the Clericom in it, um, the, the phytoestrogens and, um, calcium as well, which is all things that, things that women need. And it's, it's cheaper if you get the, all three of them together. Um, if you're in Canada, you'd have to get them out of the U.S. warehouse though. So that's one thing that you can do is to get those those three um, together. Um, okay. Yeah, and so these phytoestrogens can be super helpful. Um, sometimes obesity can be one of the causes as well um, because fat cells can actually store um, excess estrogen. Um, perimenopause as well, so just the different... Um, part of the cycle that your um, life cycle you're, you're in um, there's already those natural fluctuations in hormone levels and it's just kind of exacerbated by um, by these other causes um, and stress is a really big one as we kind of touched on before and so we're going to dive a bit deeper into that so um, the adrenal glands um, located like just in your upper back here um, they are responsible for producing cortisol, which is a stress hormone, um, as well as progesterone. So if your body is un under constant stress and producing cortisol, it's unable to produce the, the progesterone and uh, estrogen. So then that, um, that just uh, exacerbates that in imbalance. Um, there is a great blend that Dawn um, shared with us that I use now daily as well. Um, and I have to say, when, um, when I... When it either when my bottle runs out or when um, I've misplaced it somewhere, and I haven't used it for a couple of days, I can really feel the difference. Um, so here's here's a bottle I use. I just mix it up, and it's equal parts of uh, ginger, geranium, ylang ylang, basil, rosemary, and wild orange. And it has a really pleasant aroma as well. So after I put my Clary Calm um, on over my uterus, I'll put. Um, put this on my on my back every morning and evening as well and I find it makes a really really big difference um, so again that's equal parts of ginger geranium ylang ylang basil rosemary and wild orange you can also substitute wild orange for grapefruit if you'd like grapefruit's also really helpful for for women's health um, so that just helps um, support your your adrenals I think Don called it love my adrenals it's, it's a great Great blend. I started with five drops of each in the 10 ml roller bottle and now I do about seven. That seems to be a good combination for me. Always start small if you're not feeling the difference and um, you can um, increase it. Um, and for stress in general there's lots of blends um, that can be helpful. Um, you all probably already have your your favorites but some that I really like are, are the balance blend which is a grounding blend. It has a lot of wood oils in it. Uh, frankincense is really great as well. Um, serenity, peace, um, forgive is really great for a lot of women as well that um, have a lot of issues forgiving forgiving ourselves for certain things or if you worry worry a lot. Um, and we want to talk a little bit about how um, the oils can help disrupt uh, disrupt disrupt that stress cycle. Um, so it can do that by bringing the body back to homeostasis and balancing. Um, the body to, to where it wants to be. So aromatic is one of the, the best ways to do this um, aromatically. So just by inhaling um, the essential oil, it gets to your brain very quickly um, and it can help um, interrupt that cycle and um, help, help calm down. Um, so even just smelling it out of the bottle is great. Um, you could wear diffuser jewelry, you could put some on your chest so you could smell it. Um, you could have it going in your, your diffuser. Um, there's so many, so many different options there. Um, ad adaptive is also a really great blend. I, a lot of people have been finding that so helpful for stress. I know I have um, as well. Um, and topically, as we talked about before, um, using the Clary Calm over your uterus or reflexology points. Um, you could use Whisper as well um, as a pure uh, fume um, alternative. Um, you could put it on your pulse points in the back of your neck, or you can use like 
the Love My Adrenals um, blend over, over your back. Um, internally as well, you can um, be using these essential oils. Um, the phytoestrogen supplements are one that, that we talked about before. Um, yarrow palm also helps with hormonal health um, and metabolism. Um, and there is also there is a skinny jeans challenge that also helped boost the metabolism as well um, that some of you might have participated in or if you want more information you can you can reach out to us about it. But it's basically um, internally taking um, yarrow palm, black pepper, pink pepper, um, green mandarin, and frankincense. I added copaiba in there as well, taking that every day just to help balance the body out. Um, the, um, the Mito 2 Max is also really helpful for balancing hormones. Um, it helps with um, calming the proper stress response and bringing your body back to having normal cortisol levels. It improves concentration, uh, reduces fatigue and, and irritability, which is all very helpful um, and just helps interrupt that stress cycle. <clears throat> and the B vitamins that are in the Microplex VMZ, which is part of the Long Life Vitality Pack, are also very helpful um, in re reducing, reducing stress as well um, and the cortisol production. Um, vitamin E and magnesium also help stimulate progesterone development as well, which is, is really helpful. <clears throat> So some of the different things that you can do, there, there was, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Dr. Marisa, Marisa um, Snyder, I think her name is, but she's written a, an amazing book on um, using essential oils for, for women's health, um, for balancing hormones. Um, you can get it on Amazon or probably um, in, at most of the essential oil um, online stores. Um, but she has some great protocols in there um, on just about just just women's health in general. So if it's this is of interest to you, this topic is of interest to you. I highly recommend. Um, you, she actually has an awesome um, uh, she has a, she has an awesome website, but also um, podcast. Yeah, that you can listen to as well. So you can learn a lot from her there, um, or or just to get the book. And she actually created this awesome blend called this uh, Superwoman Blend. I've got that here as well. <clears throat> I kind of alternate sometimes between the Sinclair Calm or sometimes, most of the time I just use both. Um, but it has, yeah, I'll try to find if I have the recipes all here. It has, okay, 12 drops of clary sage, 10 drops of lavender, 5 drops of cedar wood, 5 drops of geranium, and 4 drops of ylang ylang. And you apply it on your wrists, ankles, and neck. Um, you can also put um, the blend in your palms and breathe it in. And then you, she said she recommends rocking the superwoman stance as well. So again, that's 12 drops of clary sage, 10 drops lavender, 5 drops cedar wood, 5 drops geranium, and 4 drops of ylang ylang. It smells really, really great as well. You can use that as a, as a alternative to pure um, perfume as well. Um, last year she had, uh, and this year as well. I didn't get to listen to it this year, but last year she had a great series on um, different experts talking about women's health. And one of the doctors I listened to, um, I found very, very helpful um, because she basically broke it down into. The five different things um, we can we can do as women to make sure that we um, have have good health, and those things are sleep, uh, moving your body, good nutrition, um, uh, good community, and then you can use essential oils to help support all of those those facets as well. So for for sleep, this is a, a key one as well um, that we do all need at least um, eight hours per day. Um, that, that amount of sleep helps normalize our body's stress response, um, and it just helps keep everything working well. There's kind of a scary book written um, basically about sleep and all the research that goes into it, and when we're not getting enough sleep, when we're depriving our body of sleep, we are causing, we're wreaking havoc in, in all of the systems in our body. And so as much as we can, we need to make sure that we're getting the sleep that we need and this is something I've been trying to commit to as well, and I've been feeling a, a big difference in um, overall in, in how I'm feeling. 
Um, I used to feel like sleep was, um, sometimes sleep was wasted time, um, that there's so many things that I could be, be doing during that time. Um, but I've, just being constantly tired isn't great. I mean, and I mean, there's, there's parts, there's times in life that that's just the way it is. Like when you have a young child, um, or a baby, but it doesn't always have to be that way. So, um, once you're out of that stage of, um, a baby or a toddler that doesn't sleep well, make sure that you get back, um, on prioritizing your sleep. And there's lots of different things you can do for sleep hygiene, um, um, as, as you probably already know, like not, not looking at screens and making sure it's dark in your room, that, that sort of thing. Um, but there's also um, essential oils and, and supplements that can help with that as well. The Serenity Soft Gels are a good um, uh, alternative to sleeping pills. Um, I've never taken sleeping pills myself. I stayed away from that kind of thing. But I find these Serenity Soft Gels really helpful when I... I know that I need to fall asleep quickly and um, I need to, because I'm waking up early the next morning and I need to be able to function that day. And one of the amazing things about these soft gels is that um, the quality of sleep that you get is so, so good. And you often wake up feeling um, refreshed and, and ready to go, sometimes even before your alarm. Awesome, right? Um, some of the other things you can do is to diffuse uh, essential oils in your bedroom as you're sleeping. Um, oils that people often like are Serenity, or I really like the combination of frankincense, lavender, and wild orange. Sandalwood and green mandarin are lovely together, or balance and copaiba. Um, everyone has their own. Peace is also really good as well, or forgive. I'm, I've been diffusing adaptive at night as well, which has been really, really great. Um, and it also depends on the reason that you're not sleeping as well. If it's to, due to congestion, there's different things you can do for that as well. Um, but if it's just your mind having a hard time falling asleep, those blends can all help. Um, vetiver is really good for um, turning off that monkey brain or that worrying part of your brain. Um, it can all help. Um, there's a lights out roller that we make um, that has ylang ylang, cedarwood, vetiver, serenity, patchouli, and wild orange in it. And it's it works really well. Okay, so the the next thing as well is moving moving your body as well. And there's been some interesting research done that um, that talks about CrossFit, which I thought was super interesting. That that's actually creating um, for a lot of people, it's creating too much stress in your body, um, and that things like high intensity training is is preferable. Um, you still want to get your heart rate up, but oftentimes what's happening in CrossFit is, is it's too much and it's causing um, unnecessary strain and too much strain on your body. So um, walking daily to maintain bone health is important as well, um, but you also need a weight component. So that'd be like push-ups, squats, um, things you can use your body weight for, um, but you need to be doing something like that. Find something that you love to do, like um, I love walking our dog. I also really love Pilates. I know I need to get back into some more cardio stuff. I love riding my bike. I used to love jogging. I'm, I'm hoping to get back into that as well. But there's a lot of, um, just find something that you love to do. People, maybe other women that you would love to do it with, and it makes it easier. Oh, Zumba. I don't know if, if any of you guys like dancing, but that's a super fun way to um, get your exercise in. And they recommend at least 20 minutes of an elevated heart rate um, a day. Preferably more, half an hour if you, if you can do that. Um, and the way oils can help support you here is uh, Motivate can help get you get you going. Um, you can use Deep Blue, um, deep blue Oil or Deep Blue Rub or Aromatouch um, ahead of time to get blood flowing to the muscles. Um, and then also afterwards as well to help with um, your muscle recovery. Um, Mito 2 Max can also help get you more energy in the morning to help get you going. Um, and it also has the benefit of helping your body release those xenoestrogens, which is pretty cool. Um, nutrition is the, the third thing. Um, so having those unprocessed whole foods. Um, that there is a new Canadian health guide as well um, that has us um, having more uh, servings of fruit and vegetables um, every day, uh, 10 servings of plants um, a day. Um, so the Long Life Vitality Pack can be part of this nutrition. 
Unfortunately, the way um, our food systems are now is we're, we're not getting the nutrients and vitamins that we used to out of the same amount of food. So even if you are eating um, well and um, um, in a healthy way, your body's probably not getting what, what it needs. And those um, lack of vitamin and nutrient deficiencies can also cause other problems in your, in your body. Um, yes, so things like digestive issues and not as much energy. And unfortunately as well, um, in our environment right now, there's we're living in, in more of a toxic environment, just in the air, water, and, and food that we're having. That's one of the reasons people are feeling so groggy and weighed down. Um, and the, the vitamins, um, the microplex VMZ, which is the vitamins and mineral um, part of the Long Life Vitality Pack, can really help with that. Um, the the e omega, um, which is essential fatty acid complex, it's something that our body can't make, so we need to be um, ingesting it from our food sources, and this supplement can help as well. It also contains frankincense, um, so it can help with inflammation. Uh, it's vital for neurological health, brain neurological systems, the, um, joints to help keep inflammation at bay, um, and it helps our cardiovascular system as well. Uh, it also helps with mental sharpness by uh, nourishing the brain and supports healthy digestion and immune system. So, so many different benefits in that um, uh, the E omega. Alpha CRS is the third um, component of the Long Life Vitality Pack. And it basically serves to clean out everything internally. And it's why most people feel like a different person after um, taking the Long Life Vitality Pack. Um, it has all the super foods and minerals in it. It has turmeric, green tea, extract, polyphenols, kinkgo bilboa. Um, it helps with the digestive system as well to um, tame inflammation. It's, so it's easier to bring your body back into balance. It helps with weight loss, speeds up metabolism. Um, one of the things that happens with um, having more inflammation in the body is that it triggers more cortisol um, production, the, the stress hormone. Um, and it also causes our body to hold on to, to fat cells as well. So there's um, kind of a cascade of, of impacts. Um, so these... Um, these vitamins and minerals and um, the alpha CRS can really help with that. Um, it also has the coenzyme Q10 as well, which helps your body create um, ATP, which is the building block for energy that's used by your uh, mitochondria. Uh, it's also good for your hormonal for hormone excuse me hormonal issues um, and the immune system. Um, and the neat thing about this, I don't know um, if you have anyone in your life like this or if you yourself are like this as well, but when you read about a new um, vitamin or the thing that everyone should be taking because it's the new um, health wonder, um, my husband was like that. And so we would have um, our cupboards just filled with bottles of like um, the coenzyme Q10 and the green tea extract, turmeric, ginkgo biloba, like all of, all of that. Um, and we were try, keep, trying to keep up taking a lot of, a lot of supplements, right? Um, and so one cool thing is this Alpha CRS, it has all of those in, um, one capsule and you can, um, take them that way. And so you're saving a lot of money and you're also not putting unnecessary things and fillers into your body as well. Um, yeah. And there's so much we could talk about LLV, but I just wanted to give a just quick, quick brief overview um, of how it can help us as women, can help everyone in your family. Um, there's special um, supplements and vitamins for, for children, but um, over 10, that this is something that can help them a lot. Um, we talked about the bone nutrient before as well, that helps a lot with um, supporting healthy bone mass. Um, Terrazyme as well is super helpful in helping you get the more nutrients from the body that uh, sorry, more nutrients from the food that you eat, and so it can actually help your body. Um, the PB Assist um, can help your, it, it's the probiotics, it can help your um, intestinal flora gut health, um, which also impacts emotions um, and stress levels and hormone levels in that way. Um, and also there's that, um, I should 
just mention as well with the LLV, there's that 30 day money back guarantee as well. So you can go to go and try it. And if you're not feeling a big difference, then you can get your money back. So it's risk free um, and you have the potential to feel so much better. Um, the fourth thing that's super important, um, this doctor was saying is super important for, for women, is that sense of community, that network of friendships and the necessity of laughter and having a good time together. Um, and I'll, there's a lot of research that indicates that this is one of the most important things for women's health. Um, and that's one of the things I love about this oil community as well, is that while it's not necessarily always in person, um, we do have that, that network of um, other caring um, people and the majority of, of women as well that are, that are here to, to help each other. Um, yeah, so if you don't have that community already, this, the Facebook um, and online um, oil community is, is a great start. Um, and hopefully you can find those that um, in, in person community as well. Um, and so just to recap, um, there's a lot of different essential oils that you can use to help with, um, with women's health. Um, we talked about Clary Calm, we talked about Whisper. Um, oh, it's such a beautiful smell. If you haven't um, smelled it already, I highly recommend it. It smells different on each, each person and it makes you feel so good and, and feminine. Um, it's actually one of my husband's favorite blends as well. He'll often put it in the diffuser. The Love Your Adrenals um, blend is wonderful, as well as the Super Warm blend we talked about. I gave you that recipe as well. Rose is also a really great um, oil to help with um, um, hormone support and um, self-love. Um, and we talked about bal the Balance the Body Challenge. Um, the yarrow palm, black pepper, pink pepper, turmeric, turmeric is one I forgot before, um, green mat and green mandarin, and you take two drops of each twice daily, um, and you can take the Mito 2 Max and the LLV as well, and a lot of people had amazing results with that. And there's also a Clary Calm Challenge as well um, uh, online where you can um, be using the Clary Calm um, daily and uh, record your results, and you have that online support as well. There are so many different oils that can help with, with different levels. Um, there's a few. I, oh, one thing I, I wanted to mention as well, and I had it here to remind me. Um, I've used an old um, grapefruit oil bottle, um, and a third of it I filled with grapefruit oil, a third I filled with frankincense, and then the remaining um, um, oil I put in there was the fractionated coconut oil, um, just as a carrier. Um, and this, this is what I used for, used for um, breast health. Um, so one of, one of our friends and mentors, PJ Hanks, she was talking about how um, there had been research done showing um, a, um, wouldn't have been an x-ray, maybe a mammogram. It was able to, um, it was taking um, internal pictures of, of the breast um, and it was showing, um, it was able, you were able to see the inflammation in, in the body. I'm sorry, I forget what, what test that would be um, or what procedure it would be. Um, but they were finding, um, they, they did a, a little bit of a study to see um, what the, what the, what the originally, what inflammation looked like in the breast. And then after using the grapefruit and frankincense, um, combination, um, as a breast massage daily, um, after a month, and there is significant reduction in inflammation in the breast. And, um, we know that inflammation can lead to so many, um, so many diseases. So any way that we can reduce that, that risk in our body, that's something that we definitely want to support. So make yourself up one of these. Um, one of the, you can do it in different ways. You can just go until the, the bottle is done um, or you can go for a month and take a month off. Um, you can do it uh, all the time or do it um, four times a year. But do, do this do this for yourself, for your self-care, for your breast health. Um, it's something that can really um, be, be of benefit. Yeah, very good. Um, and specifically with with grapefruit, um, it helps pr promote healthy progesterone levels um, 
yeah, and be beneficial for breast health. One that we didn't talk about before was uh, rose. Uh, it can help with cramping, anger management, improve quality of sleep. <clears throat> it helps keep the integrity of skin intact because um, skin can be compromised by high levels of stress or cortisol as well. And the ro rose is a powerhouse um, um, which has been tested against pathogens as well. So if you want to give yourself uh, uh, an early Christmas gift, um, get yourself one of the rose bottles or um, there's that's what I'm planning on giving myself for Christmas is the they've released the um, pure rose in, in five mil um, or you can also get it in um, um, touch as well so you can apply it and use it that way um, Clary Sage is one um, that is helpful for um, enhancing endocrine function and balancing hormones but it's one that's not recommended to use uh, while pregnant as well because it can um, stimulate um, uh, uterus con contractions as well so it can be, that's what one of the reasons it can be helpful um, for um, non-pregnant women but we don't want to be using that um, prematurely in um, pregnant women. Um, jasmine can help promote healthy uterus and libido. Ginger can um, promote healthy menstruation and libido and it helps relieve cramps in a lot of women. Uh, fennel supports healthy estrogen levels and supports healthy ovaries and thyme and oregano support healthy progesterone levels as well. We've already talked about Clary Calm Whisper. Um, yarrow, let's maybe just finish on, on yarrow palm. So that can help with the metabolic process, digestion, circulation. It boosts the elimination of toxins from the body. So this is something that we definitely all want to do living in the environments that, that we do. Um, it activates the endocannabinoid system um, and when used internally, it can help regulate hormone production. And uh, interestingly enough as well, it can help purge your emotions, things that you've kind of been um, holding on, onto that you might not realize, it can help purge those. So some people, when they they start taking yarrow, the yarrow palm, um, they find that they're feeling a little angry or sad. Um, so like work, work through that, figure out why am I feeling angry? Why am, fe am I feeling sad? It can help you through that as well. So... I apologize. This is a lot of a lot of information, um, but I hope you found some of it helpful. There's some takeaways that you can bring back and um, enhance your own self care and your own health with. And maybe there's things that can help um, that you can share with other women in your life as well that that could help them too. If you don't have essential oils already, uh, please reach out to the person who invited you to watch this. Um, they can help guide you um, and and help you get these oils in, into your home um, at, a, at a good cost um, and yeah it's it's a it's a great gift that you can give to yourself and by taking care of yourself as well you're able to take care of others um, much better as well I know sometimes as women we we give we give a lot um, and it's a lot a lot better to be able to give from a, a full cup as I say okay um, thank you all very much for, for watching and please feel free to, to reach out to myself or to um, the person that invited you if you have any, any questions at all. Okay, take care.